Hey guys, Taylor Mungus has here, coming on you with an update on the channel. So as of recently, you may remember my series K9 Force, which is a cartoon series. Now I'm working on K9 Force the game. And so far I'm building the uh, main K9 Force house. So far you spawn right in here where you're facing towards the front door and then there's this living room which doesn't have any furniture yet I was gonna add the sofa or couch right here and then the TV right here and then there's this window and there's the staircase which takes you to the upper floor and I haven't made the upper floor yet so now it's just a roof and these two back doors and yeah, you punch doors to open them. Your backyard, I should add some fences around here. I also haven't added any trees yet. And there's two neighboring houses. Now so far, as far as the controls go, you use W, A, S, and D to move around. Press spacebar to jump. Hold shift to sprint. While you're sprinting, you can't jump or attack. Uh, press control to crouch, and while, while you're crouching, you move slower. And yeah, that pop-up came because I pressed control and S at the same time, which means crouch while moving backwards. And then left click to throw a light punch. And yeah, the arm you punch with switches each time. right click to throw a strong punch they do more damage but are slower and can't be thrown as frequently and then you can throw an uppercut by crouching and then right clicking and so far there's yeah I've, I've added enemies and there's only Two. Well, they're the exact same type of enemy though. So basically, once you get close enough to them, they'll start chasing you. And then once they get really close, they'll start blocking like this. And then after a while, if, if you get far away from them, they'll start chasing again. Or if you stay rather close, they're gonna charge at you. Yeah. And and also if you get really close to them, you know, called the uh, attack distance, they'll, it'll automatically trigger them to throw a punch. Now, you, you, you can't hit while they're blocking like this. You have to wait for them to attack. Now, it, this kind of fighting style works against these guys but it might not work against future enemies so yeah once they're winding up for an attack that's when they'll be vulnerable to getting hit they'll make a sound every time they take damage now to evade enemies punches you can hold E to block which will make you take way less damage or you can move sideways or move backwards or crouch Oh, and if you try to stay crouched, then the enemies will throw kicks instead of punches. So as you can see right here, you can duck 
the attacks. If you duck for too long, you'll start kicking. And if you keep, if you maintain a rhythm while throwing the light punches, you can stun lock him. The left and right punches have slightly different delays, so that makes it more complicated. But there's still a certain rhythm to keep. <laughs> As you can see how I've managed to land four punches. And boom. Now these guys take 13 damage from light punches and 25 damage from heavy ones. And right now my laptop's overheating. And again you can punch doors to open them. This house doesn't have anything in it right now. And yeah, they have kind of a hard time moving around on the sidewalk because of the collision boxes. The only solution I could come up with was to just remove sidewalks completely and just make the ground colored differently to represent sidewalk. But until then, I'll just keep it like this for now. Now, these three houses aren't the only things I have on the game map right now. As you can see in the distance, there's that little glass thingy. So right now I'm sprinting to it. You hold shift to sprint. And yeah, you might notice the caption saying HHH. Which is completely random. You also see a dot at the bottom of the screen that's going to represent the character dialogues once they've come into play. Yep, any minute now. See, this is why I added the sprinting option so that you can navigate around the map easier. By the way, I don't plan on making the map any bigger than this, because it's kind of a small town. But anyways, you get this glass building which has glass doors you can open. And an invisible wall it seems. Yeah, I can't get past this invisible wall right here. Well, anyways, yeah, that way you get to the beach, which shouldn't be too far, because I placed the glass building pretty close to the beach. And yeah, I am sprinting right now. You can see how the hands are lowered. And you can see the blue water and some sand. Now, now we're on the sand and you see how the water moves. I'm actually also sliding downwards a little. Yeah, the, the water goes up and down. Now, so far there's not really anything particularly exciting from going inside the water. You know, once once you're under the water it looks like this. Because the, the water is just a flat plane. It's not three-dimensional. But at the moment I'm not going to focus on this area too much. I'm going to work on adding more enemies. I'm done making improvements to the enemies you already saw earlier because it, it seems they're 
they're already pretty good. Their fighting style seems pretty realistic. And yeah. Or at least as realistic as I can make it in this game. Now I'm not going to be releasing any playable versions of this game yet. It might be a few more updates from now. So until then, goodbye.